It's Friday. It's April 14th, 2023. Um, I'm just, I'm thinking of Tom Cruise. Um, I watched, uh, Harry Potter this morning. I don't know the actor's names inside of this. Um, Again, Tom Cruise, is, there's a whatever going. Um, so I'm watching this Harry Potter wizards with wands. And I'm listening to this Dolores Umbridge, um, her part in the Ministry of Magic. I'm listening also keenly for... Um, her involvement with the Ministry of Magic fudge um, and how they portray it, what they say an owl is, ordinary wizard levels. Um, I'm mixed into that um, also with a book I just stumbled upon. It was sent to me years ago. I didn't know it was something important to read. Um, didn't know. I mean, I wasn't at that awareness level or woke level, I suppose. Um, then I'm going from Harry Potter, where on the left hand, he uses a quill, which of course has significance only because of the way that I grew up in the series of rooms in the beginning um, at Lloyd's Harbor, how I was raised and where we went in old Beth page to learn silhouettes, which looks mysteriously similar to the POAs, MIAs on the black and white flag in the local area, just underneath the United States flag for whatever that means. I'm not quite certain. Um, these like eerie reminders of that looks like one of us, but nobody's speaking about it here. So, um, and they're not flown everywhere, but I see in certain pockets throughout Long Island and Queens, they're still flown. Don't know what that's about. Um, this morning I, I stumbled upon a movie that Tom Cruise did like, and then I'm thinking, should I have followed his career? I, I mean, I saw Top, I mean, best known for, and the only thing he was ever known for, for me was Top Gun. And then that was it. And I supported the most recent movie he was in. I mean, I went there on opening day with Lewis and my youngest son. Um, but and also I have this letter from, with the symbol of Church of Scientology. I went there, uh, I asked for, I put in an application for a job uh, on the application somewhere. I may have written Helen of Troy. <laughs> uh, that actually goes back to the garden in London um, on an offshoot of that those letters. I also wrote Nick Cole on the letter. Um, but whatever on that. So it says Church of Scientology. And here it says, I see that you were in the process of joining staff here a while ago. Whatever happened to this, I love to help you out if you need anything. And a name, but no signature. So there's that. I mean, I'm at the moment in attendance with Zion. Um, I found the mimic for the movie Edge of Tomorrow. Um, so that's helpful, I suppose. Um, so in this minority report, I mean, I've mentioned the coaches in the pool from when I was younger. Um, now in the minority report, I see that they put it in a movie. Later on in Edge of Tomorrow, they mention for Tom Cruise that he is a U.S. media journalist and he's an American officer 
those two placements seem really important. Um, Biden was in Ireland in ancestry and he had his tie. So uh, uh, one of the, he, he planted a tree um, and one of the late night host comedians was like, he just needed to fix his tie. Uh, that was Stephen Colbert. So, um, there's this precognition pool in Minority Report. I haven't seen the whole thing yet. I got, I was, I had to go to Paramount to see it. Um, but Paramount is only on one TV in the house. I don't know how to use it otherwise. Um, so now I have to wait. It also ties into, um, this Ministry of Magic. This I will not r lie that the quill that they make Harry Potter use is on the left hand uh, and etched into his whatever. Um, and then there's also this um, coming out of this James Webb telescope um, with galaxies and with they didn't realize there were multiple galaxies. They talk of like in Harry Potter, they talk of dark magic. Um, in James Webb's telescope, they speak of dark matter. They speak of this unknown force from the edges of time and space that, like if I have a conversation with Lynn and Lou, if I interview my parents per se, um which I did when I was younger, when I was first in the precognition pool with the man who was at the edge of the pool teaching me more than like a safety maneuver. He had a very special name for it. I know what it is still to this day in case I had to tread water for any, I mean, normally he would have had me do it or us as a group have done it in a setting much different where there was no edge of the pool. They don't really make it that easy wherever he was from, but I don't really know where that was. So, um, and we were just in day camp at that point. I think we were preteens, just so precognition pool in like had dads. Oh, and I watched my video back, uh, when I was at, after I exercised, um, around the lake after I did the run and I was mentioning, um, just recently the man with the fishing pole and the, smell coming from the local whatever um and i realized when i watched it back i did not break apart my speech pattern and thought process diligently enough um in case there's a stickler somewhere um my father when we first arrived back in 95 96 um he had some community group he was with uh, when I, while I was attending St. John's during the day, not knowing what my parents were doing while I was at school. Um, he just recently mentioned that he took a black garbage bag during that, those years and was helping when we first arrived back community service, um, to pick up the garbage around the lake and in like a, I don't know if it was an official beautifying process, but again, he knows what his history is and he just mentioned it. Um, he and I also, when we were in Cold Spring Harbor, used to walk around near the Glen um, looking for um, just, again, we would, he just one-on-one, -on -one, my dad and I, he would have me pick up some of the trash and black bag it. So this way, um, good habits for neighborhood, whatever, back then. Um, so I realized I didn't, the when the had dads vans came with their official procession and their official group my dad wasn't part of it in the year 2023 he had a different event but a black garbage bag that he was involved in back in like 90 1995 96 with whatever crew was working the local area that he was actively communicating with i'm not sure or that he was involved in and however that works i don't know uh, the locals would know better than I would because I don't even know who the locals are. 
Um, so there's that. Um, so I'm going to start with this Dolores Umbridge mention, and it's on Bravo TV. Um, it was a Harry Potter um, that came on. They had on televised with commercials, um, like a marathon almost. And so I was actually able to see tape them so I could watch them back and study them. And in this particular scene... Um, it said that they're with the owls. Um, it seems to have some term in there. Um, so again, I know that that's important, but a precognition pool and then having preteen training at summer camp once, um, seems significant because in the minority report, and again, I only saw the beginning of it seemed symbolic in the group of had dads. Um, it talks about the precognition pool with these special beings. And then it also talks about like about their treatment. And I know like Tom Cruise brings it up that like they don't feel and they don't whatever, you know, the real ones do. Um, and then in Edge of Tomorrow, he plays this character, Kate, the um, Cage, which again, if the galaxy could speak and if Scientology could speak in a way where there is this precognition, there is this pre, um, I mean, there is a game plan that somebody's been a part of in, I used to wake up with these terrible visions and I reported it to my American locals. And then for some reason, I mean, like in the Purple Emperor and in Fairy Wars, it very specifically says that the Obsidian game is illegal. Illegal. There's illegality with taking part in the Obsidian game. But yet I feel that I've been trapped in it. But yet they're making Hollywood campaign an acknowledgement of some sort with the U.S. media and the American whatever, that they know that there are these precognition children um, that were warning all sorts of stuff when we first arrived. Well, when I first arrived, I've never met another one. I don't know of any other ones. Um, and we're making accurate documentation with drawings and frightening detail um, and knowing that my future was already in some alignment that looked dangerous but there was a way to fix it at pre-crime before it happens. Before this, at that time, was a fictional character, sci-fi character of whatever, the man I didn't want to marry because I had already been chosen to marry someone else. I wanted to marry the person I was intended for in RH negative that would have had a completely different outcome for my entire life. But for some reason, it's taken on some different, and I can see signs of it in the media that they've played over here. Um, so should Tom Cruise even care, honestly? Like, I mean, I don't know, like, what he, what he really does for a living, but... Um, I left an application on file with the New York City Office of Scientology. I figured that's probably the best route for whoever is heavily involved with them, since I don't know what they are or what they do. Um, I've also been contacted by the Mormons. I've also been con uh, And then I found Zion going back to, and in his movie, it says Science Hill, Kentucky. So on the mimic that um, they sent for... The whatever. Good morning.
taking that advice and I'm trying to study the worlds of witches and wizards for which I, I mean, like, again, they put this out here and left me in some dead end, nothing life with only RH positives surrounding me. And to be completely honest, um, where it looked like had dads were like the men on the side of the pool. Um, I've been in several precognition pools, um, with coaches and league representatives of, they know who they are in their importance. I still believe they're important in my story. Um, and they've led extraordinary lives. I'm sure. Um, based on what I see up here, I'm just not clear why there was some blockade used and why I was held amongst RH positive only men. I mean, where are the RH negative that I should have been routed towards? Where did that life go on this planet? instruction in this subject has been disturbingly uneven. But you'll be pleased to know from now on you will be following a carefully structured ministry approved course of defensive magic. Yes. Now, when I was in uniform, very much like a Hogwarts, it was English language arts. English as an art. And that there was so many years of that, it was always on the schedule. There's nothing in here about using defensive spells. Using spells? <laughs> well, I can't imagine why you would need to use spells in my classroom. We're not going to use magic. You will be learning about defensive spells in a secure, risk free way. What use is that? If we're going to be attacked, we won't be risk-free. Students will raise their hands when they speak in my class. It is the view of the Ministry that a theoretical knowledge will be sufficient to get you through your examinations, which, after all, is what school is all about. And how's theory supposed to prepare us for without that? There is nothing out there, dear. Or do you imagine what to attack children like yourself? Oh, I don't know. Maybe... Lord Voldemort. The flight of death. Hmm. Right. Interesting. Um, Let me make this quite plain. You have been told that a certain dark wizard is at large once again. This is a lie. It's not a... Now here's an interesting thing. There is a dark man by the name of Lord who has befriended my father for years and has been involved with meta and technology companies. He has Lots of lawyers and doctors and friends. And he's RH positive of some sort. I am almost certain of it. Since I know what RH negative looks like. A lie. I saw him. I thought... Detention! Mr. Potter. So according to you, Cedric Diggory dropped dead of his own accord. Cedric Diggory's death was a tragic accident. It was murder. Voldemort killed him. You must know that. Get out! My office. (laughs) 
if my son had a voice from beyond the grave before he arrived in our very special timing technique in order to improve his mother's life. That would have been the way to go, although I think this movie came out after he had already arrived. I understand at this point they've shown that in the newspaper on this theory um, that there's, I see cats on the wall. I know that has significance. Multiple plates of cats, might I add. Um, just so they're separated by breed and pattern and whatever else they do on normally the porcelain is a five letter pattern goes along with that i believe sons of england introduced that into the local whatever um so there's that but it also says that this woman is um working with the ministry and his particular name was fudge That's a lot of porcelain on the wall with a lot of cats. I'm just noticing, not, I'm not counting them all, just from afar, I'm looking at a broad pictorial of, of what is out there in the universe. And then I'm gonna go reference also the James Webb Telescope as to how the astronauts or the astrophysicists are speaking of galaxies without, I mean, I don't imagine that they're under duress or that they're under any form of persecution or execution or fear that they might be locked up and arrested for having pursued an astrophysics career at this point in history. It seems that at this point in history, they've been allowed to manifest that reality and they get to meet in these really blessed groups of highly educated theorists and speak freely amongst each other of some sort. I mean, I'm watching about how they're portraying it to the general's public. I mean, I'm in an era where it's General George Washington is on the number one dollar bill. He's a very specific look, very ancestrally um, something, um, but very directionally. And then, of course, prior to George Washington being a general, um, there was the sons and daughters of King George, um, their seeds and their garden being an important feature, um, not knowing where their strains or their virility comes from in accuracy of any sort, but important features nonetheless. You're going to be doing some lines for me today, Mr. Potter. No, not with your quill. I'm going to be using a rather special one of mine. Now, I want you to write, I must not tell lies. Now, he is using his right hand to write in two different spellings, if we're using English arts that I learned while here in New York. And then it appears burned into the left hand for some reason. 
how many times? Well, let's say for as long as it takes for the message to sink in. You haven't given me any ink. Oh, you won't need any ink. Uh, so the last airing of 60 Minutes was NASA, N-A-S-A's James Webb Telescope. Stunning new images captured of the universe. So this is six minutes in. This is what it, the, this is what the clip, and the clip was 12 minutes, 48 seconds. I, I took a copy of it and I put it on my Facebook. So this way the whole reference piece was there, but I'm just referencing it embedded into another video um, for reference with the other pieces that were put uh, in like a Hollywood or like a movie way um, with like the mega stars of celebrities um, that I've never met and I don't know, um, but they seem rather important. Um, since I'm not quite clear what my life path was ever supposed to be, but it seems like I'm stuck in a very specific cage of some sort. And I can't tell the difference between the RH negatives and the RH positives. Sometimes I can, but sometimes I can't. And that puts my life in jeopardy. It also, um, in a long also range project is... Um, when there's, if a woman is like a flower or if a woman ha has only so much in her biological clock, if there's prevention of that biological clock, especially at an endangered species of ABO blood group, having the ability to procreate if that's what the woman desires, and if that's what is being withheld, there is some form of criminality inherently obvious in the inability of the woman to get to the correct ABO group um, that she belongs with and amongst. And that's why I'm not quite sure who would withhold that level of importance because if a woman doesn't have a child um that also means of her own like i mean again i know some women don't but that means that the future's in jeopardy because what will i mean and it's already at a deficit in the world population i think we're RH negative is down to 10%, but in the local area, I don't know. It looks like it's even lower than that. Um, but I don't have the area date numbers and I wouldn't know where to even find them at this point because of the lack of communication and just how things have been strung together in almost like a dead end. It's filled with galaxies. We knew this theoretically. But when you go out to the night sky, we're used to saying, well, look up the night sky, we see those stars. We can no longer say that. We now have to say, look up the night sky, and there are galaxies everywhere. We call it space because we thought there was nothing out there. There is no empty sky with James Webb. That is what we have discovered. Matt Mountain says that Webb is a reminder of how much we do not know. For example... Galaxies are rushing away from each other at greater and greater speed, defying gravity. It makes no sense. 
so scientists infer that there must be unseen elements at work. They call them dark energy and dark matter. And whenever you hear the term dark energy or dark matter, this means we don't know what it is. We're not that imaginative. But it is a force. It is 95% of our universe. And we have no idea what it is. Wait a minute. 95% of our universe is made up of dark energy and dark matter, and we don't know what it is. Correct. We're lucky if we even understand 4% of our universe today. Astronomy is a very humbling discipline. <laughs> humbling, but with Webb... Look at this! Also thrilling. Look at this! Right! This is Purdue University astronomer Dan Milisavlovich, starstruck and chatting with a colleague yes yes look at the look at the detail even wilbur who's not a now here's the trailer from minority report which came out in 2002 it says a policeman tries to establish his innocence in a future where law enforcement can arrest killers before their crimes um i don't necessarily agree with all of this again it's conjecture every single piece of it but in the way that they've sequenced it together in an argument that I'm very that I very easily can have on my own behalf um, it is just it's frightening if it gets tossed out there at the zoo or the aquarium and they just let people participate in any which way without like any real justice or anchor line. That's where it becomes really frightful is how this is embedded in someone else's reality at the moment. I know that um, when I first arrived somewhere in the early 80s, I was... I. I see where they tie the parallel in with this precognition um, reporting. And I see that they used it under the guise of dream works um, for that REM, whatever it is, and some word. And then, of course, for me, I'm always fearful, depending on who I'm speaking to, in when I fall asleep, who will catch me? That always was a big thing for me when I was like, where will I go? Where will I wake up if I fall asleep here in the whatever's in the great beyond between the dreams working and then all of these media companies and all of the things that I drew very real pictures of that I left with Judy when I was younger. Look at me. Positive for Howard Marks. I'm placing you under arrest for the future murder of Sarah Marks and Donald Dubin that was take place today, April 22nd. Now, is this if Uncle Duke and Uncle Mark fight? Is, is this like a produce of that possibly? Because that's also another angle that I'm just, I'm just, I'm, I don't know. Zero, 0800 hours and four minutes. No. It says the future can be seen, the guilty punished before the crime is ever committed. Isn't that how certain area security prefers their personnel to have like that? We know the future before it actually happens in some kind of, I mean, they sell futures on the SEC market. There's some kind of predictive technology, predictive performance. It's how other areas of the elite run. Just confused when you're a human component. And then I've got time as a factor. I've got a future stake 
He's a mistake at the moment, an M.I. stake. And then there's the M.I. grants. And then there's the M.I. says until it comes after you. Jack, don't run. Everybody likes rich. I did not choose a fish hatchery in the local area by the name of John. Someone chose by intellectual design to put me in that safe house. It just became a piece of my history, but I do not know why it was written in. Was Uncle Duke and Uncle Mark on the same whatever in knowing that I was RH negative and needed to get to a very special RH negative without any fights breaking out? Again, bloodlines and strains and the way that the numbers are dwindling. Now here it says, Live, Die, Repeat, Edge of Tomorrow, which came out in 2014. It starts with Tom Cruise saying that he's U.S. media, communications, whatever. Um, and then I'll rewind it back to, I think, minute nine, somewhere around there, where he says he's an American officer, just so, because uh, it was in two different parts of the movie. Army media relations. I was on a bachelor party or a poker game. You have an order in your left pocket. It says, I'm a deserter caught impersonating an officer. But what it doesn't say is that your, your name is Master Sergeant Farrell from Science Hill, Kentucky. And if you'll give me 30 seconds to explain how I know that, you may just save the lives of every soldier on this base. And you have to listen to... So that doesn't happen. I'm sure his celebrity really comes in handy. Um, and again, Science Hill, I went to Scientology. I hear that that's his association. I left an application on file in my real hand. Um, and of course I use an offshoot of whatever in whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, Helen of Troy as opposed to Hela. Um, and then I'm going to go back to the, um, just so the Rita doesn't get upset and however they put, put, like, put it there. Cause I don't know who's on what, like what's on first, who's on second. I'm, I'm not really clear at the moment. I have no idea. It's an officer, Sergeant. How I dress slack jaws with crude wrap right apart, bust his hole in my boot heel, maggot. Hold up there, son. Can I help you, sir? Where the hell am I, sir? Boat operating base Heathrow. You just came in with the fresh recruits. Do I strike you as a fresh recruit? No, sir, you do not. My name is Major William Cave. I'm an American officer. Officer? This process. There's no officer down here. I got this side. How interesting. Heathrow and the Williams cage. Again. I see the symbolic references here. It does not escape me for one moment the absolute utter importance 
um, with ancestry being whichever it is and not really knowing if, if I'm looking at a globe, there's a lot of English spells on that globe at the moment in my household. I've studied English as an art and the globe itself is a tangible piece of round art that does not have a voice. So though geographically, I know I have a picture of my grandmother who no longer speaks, she's not here. And although I can see where her ancestral roots come from, the globe itself as a piece of tangible art and educational utility for myself, just to ground myself in space and time, does not speak of what has gone on over the last hundred years, does not speak about the last 44 years that I've been here in this postage stamp as opposed to the rest of the size of the world, its geography and its moving populations and its moving history. For that, I'm at that scale, I'm completely deficient of. Um, so for me, there's no, humans usually walk around with some form of emotion. I'm deficient of it only because of what's gone on here and how disconnected it's been from whatever goes on somewhere else. Now here's uh, where um, commander in chief, um, President Joe Biden rings the bell I now have a reference for this chief, which I really appreciate. Um, the GI Jane I just watched had a master chief. So I could see the level of respect he commands in a room. Um, and then the Edge of Tomorrow had a master sergeant. And I see the level of respect he commands in his walkabouts. Um, so that gives a little more construct to this commander in chief of the White House and the level of responsibility. And when he walks in the room, the level of respect that, not that I would have disrespected him anyhow, but just to know and have this construct built. Um, again, like I've met a senator before, but I was unprepared for other than just a one-on-one -on -one face to face. Like, how's it going? What are you doing? How's the wife or the how's the husband and the kids and you be the wife of this whatever? Like, how you doing? Kind of a thing was more. The level of conversation, it was not amongst a very large group setting, necessarily. Um, but I was unprepared for that, too. I mean, like, again, I don't know what they... Like, I'm not one of their staff. So I'm precognition in a pool. I'm... And I, it's been a lot of whatever we're used for in the field um, and however it works in the field, but I'm not sure how to respond or even to react at the level that I am where I was born as with this. I mean, it's, this is something all new and not something necessarily that I've run into a movie script where they constructed it. So it could balance out for me a visual of like what to expect when you have no expectations and no communications whatsoever. It says, this is for all my Irish ancestors. <laughs> President Biden rings the peace bell in Ireland. All right, fist times the charm. <laughs> All right, one more to grow on. Lucky number seven. 
Crazy Eights. Just come get me when dinner's ready, Jack. Papa Joe's getting his clang on. And of course, that always throws me off ever so slightly. But again, knowing that there's whatever and whatever, whatever, whatever. So it's star 1978, star 8378, Nicole Kitaruza, it's Earth, solar system, Milky Way, universe, galaxy is broken. Um, and it's Bayside Station, Bayside, New York, 11361. 